All right. Getting reset here. We have $25 thrown in for the, it says, for the beast from the east, sweeten the pot. That's got to be Langford. <laughs> and we're off and running here. The beasts are in the yellow singlets. The blue singlets of the Nike Union Athletics Club. We have Elliot Cook on the outside. University of Oregon runner. And then Derek Holdsworth on the inside. That's Noah Cabet jumping out to an early lead behind Eric Sawinski. Cabet is a savavy tactical racer. If you, uh, if you want a hot pace, you get the Iowa Hot Guys Track Club. None other than Mr. Sawinski. Seems to be quite a bit ahead of the, the rest of the pack right now, but doing an excellent job. He's exactly where he needs to be. And yet, for whatever reason, uh, Noah Cabet does not seem capable of keeping pace with this race. It's too bad, and you have guys like Josh Kerr, who usually would use his late charge to win this thing, yeah, having, this, to, having to step up. This bodes well for the likes of Josh Kerr here. The pace through 400 meters, 53.03 for Josh Kerr, given the nod there just ahead of Noah Cabet, but Cabet retakes the lead, and we'll see what they can do over this second lap. It's Cabet still out in front, and can Josh Kerr get by him? Cabet gives a surge down the back stretch as they approach 600 meters, and they are flying, and the two are separating. It is 119 with 200 meters to go. Josh Kerr given a lot of energy on the outside there. Yeah, running an extra two to three meters. And oh my goodness, you guys, Zaire Harris coming hard, charging fast, along with Elliot Cook. There goes Josh Kerr, the 1,500-meter man, and a slew of Brooks Beast with him. But look at Devin Dixon on the outside. Can Devin Dixon take it from his teammate Josh Kerr? I don't know. We'll see. Josh Kerr takes the win. And it looks like a 146-62 for Josh Kerr after a 53 opening lap. So 53-53. And it is Brooks Beast 1-2-3. I don't know what happened. Noah Quebec got out in front of every single other athlete in this field and looked intent on being the man behind Eric Sawinski.